Hey guys, today is going to be a pretty exciting and crazy day. I'm going to attempt to draw the goat's blood. So we're gonna go shopping and buy a few things. I need some 20 gauge needles. All right, so. I found the 20 gauge needles at my local Atwood store and just got the needles and also some syringes that only went up to six cc's. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I officially drew blood from one of the goats and now I'm going to be taking from the other ones. I ended up shaving the right spot, but when I inserted the needle, somehow I didn't get any blood. I don't know if my angle was wrong, if I went too far deep in or what, but I got blood and I ended up shaving her in a few other spots, so she's kind of patchy looking. Now we're gonna start on Granny. I am gonna shave her neck right along here in the front. And the way I found it is I read on a blog where if you look at the goat, you find the center of their eye and draw a line straight down. And so I'm doing that with the goat kind of looking straight at me, not with the head turned or anything, and then just going straight down. So where I want to shave her is like literally <laughs> right here. Can you maybe push her back a little? Was it on this side I drew blood from the goat or the other side? It was on this side. She's got a lot of hair. Like that should be enough. Once I had the goat shaved, I left her in the stand and I put together my syringe and my needle. And that's really simple. You just pop the cap off of the needle and apply pressure from the syringe onto the needle and then it's ready to go. Um, I did not have the needle exposed until I was sure, or if you know what I mean, sort of sure, that I was able to find the jugular vein. All right, this is the vial that I'm gonna be using. I ordered it online, but basically these are just plain vials. I only need one sample for all the tests that I'm doing. It's gonna work out really nicely so I don't have to have multiple vials. Mom has an important announcement to make. I can't find the jugular vein. I'm looking for it. She shaved the wrong side. I think I did. After I made my mistakes, I looked on my phone to try and find information to help me out a little more with how to find the vein. I'm a visual learner, so this picture really helped me and show me that the jugular vein is on the left side and it's really close and in line with the eye as you can see there. And super helpful picture. So if you don't know how to do something, just go online, look it up, and pictures are worth a thousand words. We made another mistake. Mommy just shaved a goat for no reason on the wrong side. side. Again. So she's shaving a big spot this time. What's really interesting though is even after I found and withdrew blood from the first goat on the second one, I still shaved her wrong. I'm really glad the first goats that we chose are some of our calmest ones. If it had been sassy, I think it would have been a lot more difficult. She's a bit of a more ornery goat and if you watch the video, you can see my nails are done and she actually cracked one of them and I will not be having fake nails any time I have to mess with these animals. She bites. No, she doesn't. She does? Yeah, she bites me. When I'm milking, she, if I don't give her a feed, she'll bite me. Granny, you're mean. She bit me, you know where. Your ear? My. But Once I have her shaved, I'm applying pressure to her neck to try and cause the vein to pop out because everything I'm reading and seeing and hearing is telling me that I should be able to see this vein. Oh, I found it. I had my two older kids helping me and it was quite a challenge to get the goat to be still. I want you to kind of hold this too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We still love you. At one point, we tried laying the goat down to see if it would be easier to draw. 
her blood that way but that was actually more difficult because of the way her legs would move up and down it would actually um, cause there to be less room around the neck and also she moved her head up and down um, and to the side she was able to kind of uh, block my view or you know, block the way that I wanted the needle to go in and also she had a collar on and we decided to leave the collars on because if the goats get away that is kind of one of our only ways to catch them because they don't have horns it was better because the collar um when we pulled it up a little bit what it did is it caused the vein to pop out we weren't choking the goat or anything it was just a little bit of pressure and once the vein popped out i was able to see where the vein was and then put the needle in and withdraw the blood I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Stay. Don't move, Jocelyn. You gotta stay still, baby. Danny's moving. She's trying to move. Stay. We're still in. All right, guys, this is not even funny. This was the last goat, and it only took me one try. So drawing the blood is not as easy as it looks. Here's some things I wish I knew before even attempting this. Number one is gonna be when you go to insert the needle, that if, it, if when you're applying pressure and you Isn't think you heavy? feel the vein, but you don't see mm -hmm. it pop out, it's not the vein. Don't try and put the needle in. Second is the best tip that I found was that you line their face straight up and then you look You create an imaginary line on the face down to her neck area And that's about where the vein is that was accurate for every single goat third is that With the collar that if you applied a little bit of pressure just with that it would cause the vein to pop out that was super helpful Four is I do believe if you don't have the calmest, sweetest goat, you do need to have other hands to help you keep the goat still. Fifth is going to be when you put the needle in, it does need to go at an angle and not like straight into the goat or like super deep in there. Six is they need to be shaved. Seven, I found that if you kind of like don't poke into the skin, but touch the skin and kind of let them prepare for what is coming. So if I applied a little bit of pressure on the needle to their skin, they wouldn't jump as much as if I just quickly went and stuck it in. That really helped keep the goat calm and from jumping. So like I said, I would just kind of gently apply pressure with the needle and then push it in and the goat wouldn't jump and go crazy. With the last goat, that's what I did. It worked, everything worked perfect with her. We pulled on the collar and her vein popped out i saw it i put my hand there to apply pressure and keep the vein popped out and i slid the needle straight up in there and then i withdrew blood and it, it was just great i lined it up with her eye too so everything just made sense and i'm really thankful for all these different people who post their experience and the things that they learn so that i can grab from every single one and bring them all together to be able to do something myself at home without being shown uh, with somebody right beside me so this worked out i however do not look forward to doing this again but if i need to i will thanks for watching guys i'll see you on my next video i hope you enjoyed this if you did please subscribe to my channel and help my channel continue to grow and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for sticking around and watching my videos i will see you on my next video bye guys